How's it going, son? Just watched, uh, <clears throat> just checked in with the malt liquor community. Well, don't you do that. Where'd that sound come from? Don't you do that every day, Earl? <clears throat> don't you check in with the, uh, the YouTube drinking community every single day? And to that I'd say, malt liquor. No, I don't. I don't do anything every day. Does that include uh, brushing your teeth? A very basic, easy habit to get into? I like that guy. No, I have no regular habits. Actually, that's not true. <clears throat> like other than autonomic uh, things that just happen uh, without my say so, like breathing, uh, I take care of Aquila. That's what I do uh, uh, regularly. Uh, so, well, let's address the YouTube community. Um, first thing I want to say is. Uh, I got some uh, some messages from Dorf, Dorf68. Hi, Dorf. Um, I mean, this is the th I, actually, I've got messages. I've got messages from tons of people. It turned out later it wasn't them. Uh, so, Dorf, uh, um, if you're sending me, if you're sending me, uh, if you're typing me stuff, um, perhaps you could send me a video, so I, I, I could actually see your face see your lips moving and hear uh, what it is you're concerned about uh, and then we could talk about it. I did like a I thought I covered I, I thought I covered what if, if it was you typing me I thought I covered it in like a seven minute video I did um, but if I didn't if I didn't answer your questions uh, make a video so that I could hear what is going on for you and reply to it yeah that'd be good Malaga It's my absolute favorite movie, Flash Gordon. Is I has a Queen soundtrack, and I always thought to myself, I'm going to be a movie star, so I could have Queen do the soundtrack uh, for my movie. That's all I wanted. I don't care what the movie's about. It's probably going to be a f sci-fi. Might be kind of a Flash Gordon uh, Highlander cross, Swords in Space. Uh, and then when Freddie Mercury died, God rest his soul. Um, I. Uh, there went my movie career. I didn't care about it anymore. <clears throat> oh, next person I'd, on the drinking community that I want to talk about is a 40-ounce food. And 40-ounce food, uh, you asked me to do like a video for you, a 40-ounce video. Um, well, this is it. This is what you got. Um, let's talk about you. Let me, let me talk to you. All right, so... You're going. You're uh, it, you're closing your YouTube channel down, wavy, so that uh, you could enter a career of uh, um, a certain amount of responsibility. So you know you don't want your YouTube channel messing that up. Um, and that career might bring you into a uh, a certain amount of authority, maybe a larger amount of authority than uh, than man should have. Yeah, I think that control over other people, making decisions for other people, um, should be something that is never picked up, uh, and only picked up in the extreme, and then put right back down again. So, uh, forty ounce food. Um, when you go into your career, and I know, I know, uh, everything will work out good for you. I'm sure you'll get what you want. Um, keep in mind that, uh, like authority, uh, power, um, the ability to, to make decisions uh, in a way that affects other people and it can affect them in a very negative way, 
uh, keep in mind that that could have like a really uh, corrosive effect on who you are as a person. Um, it could, uh, even more than that, I think it could have a corrosive effect on, uh, on your humanity. Um, I'll, give, I'll give you an example. Uh, I used to, uh, for years, I was, uh, uh, <clears throat> I practiced martial arts with uh, a judge, um, a circuit court judge. Um, I also trained with a, uh, a state policeman uh, in martial arts that, uh, he trained policemen. Yeah, I think those, those two examples would do good. Um, one of them found that his position of authority um, started washing away his humanity. Um, he, never, he never lost that. Uh, what he did to try to protect uh, other people is he just fell into a, uh, a role. And that role of, and it was a good role, he was a good person. Um, but that role became him. He became uh, um, an instrument of his uh, of his career. And there's a lot of ways where uh, I admired that because I saw that, like, I felt I could trust him. Um, but I saw the sacrifice he made for it. And the other uh, didn't want to sacrifice any of their humanity. And the the effort this man put into that. Uh, was astounding. Um, so, 40 ounce, uh, let me, from my observation, these two gentlemen, um, you're gonna, if you get into a position that might do what, do, what, what their job their, uh, did to them, try to be that guy that does not give up on his humanity, uh, that doesn't give up on the real person that he is, um, the person that's full of compassion, that makes mistakes and does things right and understands that if he was ever in a position um, if ever he's dealing with somebody if every 40 ounce food if ever you're dealing with somebody if you could somehow put yourself in their place or say well maybe I would never do this kind of thing but what if it was somebody I cared about what if it was like a brother or a sister or somebody that uh, had made a mistake um do I want to? They they might have to. Uh, they might have to deal with their mistake. Um, but do I want to help them, or do I want to harm them, or do I want to just kind of be neutral? Um, I hope you go into it and in where you're like you want to help them. Uh, like some people, some people have to uh, have to pay a price for their decisions. Um, but I don't think that us as uh, as their fellow human beings uh, should do anything that makes it harder. Um, if anything. Uh, we should try to be there to uh, to ease uh, what goes on for them, because you know, if everything's just going right in life, sometimes life's pretty hard anyway, right? So if things go wrong for somebody, um, it uh, it I think it behooves us all to try to hold on to um, who we are and not not give up on uh, what makes us, um, you know, kind and interested in other people, um, that we don't, like, we don't, we don't shut down or close up, um, that kind of thing. I hope you get what I'm saying. Because um, it, uh, I, I know firsthand that uh, sometimes your career can mold you and can damage you in ways that, uh, are difficult sometimes to recover. Sometimes it's recover to get back some of the things that you lose uh, while you're working. Uh, which isn't, it isn't, I don't think that should how it would be. Like, I think that a lot of times, like, you could have a calling and be really good at your job. Um, and that is going to change you. But it should change you for the better. And it should change how you uh, interact and meet other people. It should change them for the better as well. I think that uh, there shouldn't be a job um, judge to a uh, pizza delivery guy that doesn't add to other people's lives, um, or at the very least, uh, doesn't detract uh, from their quality of life. Even if that's where their quality of life seems to be heading, I mean, um, that's th their choices. and It isn't for us to, uh, to
to grease the skids, so to speak. Malt liquor. Hmm. Karunta Killer. Karunta Killer, uh, I really do want to do a video just for you, and I imagine that happening. Um, but I was just thinking about you because I just watched one of your videos. <clears throat> uh, your, uh, the, your fall staff video on Puerto Rican fall staff. <laughs> you, you're wearing that excellent uh, uh, mask you made yourself. That was, that was a pretty good mask, uh, Corinta Killer. Uh, I laughed when you totally gave up on it. <laughs> like, it's all like askew on your face, and you're not even using the mouth hole anymore. That was hilarious. Uh, Corinta, I also liked, uh, you did a video a while back um, where you talked about your getting into YouTube. And I've watched a, uh, I watched a change, uh, it's a pretty dramatic change, uh, of your early videos to your videos now. Um, I really like that. I liked how uh, you are exploring how you want to interact in this kind of society in the tubes. And uh, uh, you started off slow and you kind of moved into where you felt comfortable. And uh, um, I think we all got a chance to kind of pick up on who you are as a guy. And um, Man, I... I I really appreciate uh, how you share yourself. I always uh, look forward to your videos, and uh, every time, like your one of your videos plays, and you're uh, you're dancing or singing or just sitting and drinking, or you you have a friend over, or, or you're walking down the street, or you go into a restaurant or uh, or what a market or something like that and buy a beer and sit down and drink it and do one of your sideways videos. I always feel like I'm a, I'm on a, I'm along, you know. I'm feeling like I'm hanging out at uh, Corinta Killer's house, or we're walking down to the store, or something. And uh, oh, hanging out at Corinta Killer's house. Uh, st you, did you lose your couch? <laughs> that's awesome. You know, I don't I don't I don't mean to laugh because uh, I think it's not like I, it's not like it's funny, like that. Uh, I think you said Rana Center came back and got your couch. Um, it's that, first of all, you, you rented a couch is what I'm getting. And uh, I've heard of that. And I've, I'd have never met anybody who's actually done it. Um, I mean, because you know, I live, uh, before I moved in here with Irma, uh, I lived in a plywood box. And uh, I didn't have anything to sit on other than my bed. <laughs> I had a... a a ladder. I'd sit on a ladder sometimes. Um, but, uh, so, um, here's what I'm thinking, is get a bunch of milk crates and just, like, put some pillows on them or not. And, like, when you have a lady over and she's like, uh-uh, I don't want no Puerto Rican that can't get a couch. You're like, baby, I, I could get a couch, but you know what I like? I like waffle butt. I'm crazy that way. If you're down with waffle butt, I'm down with you. Now sit down on that milk crate and I'll get you a cold malt liquor. <laughs> oh, man. I can't get out of this. Why do I need to get out? That's that's for sure. <sighs> Waffle butt. It's hilarious. Oh. Who am I thinking about? Oh, uh, Not a Muppet. Um, I wanted to do something like, Not a Muppet, you did this thing where you, like, you cut your hand. That was f hilarious. Uh, except I, w I would want to do something like that and just, just cry. Oh, my hand. It hurts so much. Why did I cut it? I don't feel any tougher. Mm. But not a Muppet, I like your style. I was going to write down uh, not a Muppet-isms. 
and uh, I was going to want to try to do, and it, I mean, just like I might, you know, I might do a video of uh, me being not a Muppet. Uh, I like your style. <laughs> if I could get an inner, not a Muppet, uh, I'd be a happy man. <clears throat> so I guess I'll, I guess I'll get one. Princess Aura. Um, oh well, I guess we got, I got we got room for two more uh, uh, YouTubers from the drinking community. Uh, do uh, Jay Vega. Um, Jay Vega. Here's the thing about Jay Vega, and if you don't mind, Jay Vega, I'll have I'll share you your 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 moment in uh, in the tubes with me. Uh, let's bring another in. Let's bring in uh, girl comic. Um, here's the thing. Uh, what I love about the drinking community and what I love about the tubes um, is uh, we all show up. You know, like you show up right now in my living room, and sometimes. I show up in your uh, in your uh, your TV room, or uh, in what appears to be Girl Comics basement to watch uh, One Life to Live uh, and drink malt liquor. But you know it's everything, and it's everywhere. You know it's hanging out at uh, B Two M Greatest's house uh, with uh, Jen Cole and having some uh, malt liquor, or it's. Uh, Going over to Bitter Poet Madman's and uh, you know having you know craziness ensue, or uh, heading over to Jack Dippleson's uh, shed and uh, and having some shots of vodka, or uh, hanging out with uh, Tiny Tim uh, and uh, you know picking up on his uh, kind of like high energy thing that he has going on. He's like he's got this kind of calm high energy, uh, you know, or uh, going to save or save the polar bears. Uh, I guess bathroom, hanging out with him in his bathroom. For his high energy, um, you know, it's, it's hanging out with you know you, you J Vega and uh, uh, the rest of the drinking tribe. Um, that sometimes I just get the feeling like, uh, not even to kind of based on my personality, and I kind of keep to myself. I come kind of a, uh, I'm kind of a private, extroverted, introvert kind of thing. Uh, I spend a lot of time by myself, and I love it. Um, that's how I feel happiest. Um, but it's kind of fun that I could just, you know, show up over at your house or Girl Comics Basement or uh, b Tom's house or, you know, everybody and, uh, and all, uh, you know, suddenly be over at, uh, um, you know, uh, Mr. TBC, TBC 40s, uh, Dev's house, um, or uh, hang out with uh, uh, Odeed and Wish. And, um, it's kind of fun. You just get that kind of moment at, uh, um, uh, a, a, a kind of a flash of everybody's life, and uh, then, uh, you know, then you're back at your house, watching Flash Gordon. That's uh, fun. I love it. Anyway, uh, Jay Vega, uh, good to see you. Thanks for putting me in your intro, I'm honored. And uh, I liked your uh, your driving video you just did. It was great. Okay, and the, at the end, it'll be, have to be uh, Casper the Ghost. I think there's numbers after it. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't do numbers. Yes, I do, actually. Uh, but if you wanted me to do numbers and you want to complain, uh, my complaints department is uh, Mr. Badass Andy, actually. So uh, if you're like, hey, uh, Earl didn't use the numbers after, uh, after he said Casper the Ghost. Um, Badass Andy will help you with that. Yes, he will. <clears throat> Reach a swell. Uh, Casper the Ghost, uh, you're uh, having some babies. Had a baby, have another baby. I'm not quite sure of the baby thing going on. And also something about baby naming. Should you have the right to name your baby? Um, yes. Uh, and also, it doesn't matter. Um, the baby's name uh, is going to mean is going to mean Nada. And uh, if you come up with uh, with uh, a nickname uh, for your baby, um, and 
you know, you, it, and uh, your child likes it. Uh, it'll be a nice private thing between the two of you. But it doesn't matter, whatever their name is. Um, I can imagine it feeling like it matters, so, you know, it's, it's, it's your deal, it's your call. Um, but truly, it doesn't matter. Uh, what's going to matter is that, uh, that you, with your children, that uh, you treat them like, uh, you treat them like you want everybody in the world to treat them. Uh, which probably means you're going to have to treat them better than anybody else is ever going to treat them. Um, you know, always be honest with them, always be caring, always be kind. Always be patient as if patience uh, was your highest goal in life. Um, never, uh, never make them feel bad because there's going to be a million people in the world that's going to try to make them feel bad. And uh, they should never get that from you. Uh, you know, try to guide them, try to be there for them, try to always support them. Whatever they want to do, uh, if that's what they want, uh, well, that's too bad, uh, Casper. You gotta, you gotta support that. And uh, if you don't like it, well, suck it up, cupcake. <laughs> Son. And here's the thing, Casper. If you're having, you're having multiple kids. Um, the, uh, you know that thing about, you know, evol uh, <clears throat> uh, evolution, uh, mutation, um, natural selection, um, humanity's been around for a long time, and, uh, we are changing. Mostly how we're changing is we're getting slightly taller. Isn't that great? <laughs> that means nothing. Um. So we're all coming out, no matter who we are, uh, me, you, uh, all of us, are coming out you know, basically the same. We're a little bit different in height. Um, and so uh, you're having multiple children, uh, and here's what I think that means is uh, they have, by, by having more, uh, you have a, a chance, a, a greater chance of having your child uh, do something uh, wonderful, an amazing and uh, something that we'll all be thankful that this child walked the earth. Because um, it doesn't matter, Caspa, uh, who you are, really. Um, it doesn't matter about much about your genetics, uh, your, your, your generations before you. Um, your kid's going to come out pretty much like every kid around the globe. Um, you're lucky in a way that you're in a first world country, um, but I don't even think that matters that much. Um, and, and I think that what I'm saying is that uh, you could have the most amazing human being in the world uh, at this point in time in history. Uh, you might have them in your life uh, on a regular basis, or as much as you can. So I hope you uh, hope you treat them that way. I hope you treat them that they might be. Um, not just a miracle for you, uh, they might be a miracle for us as well. So, so recognize, son, <laughs> and malt liquor. Let's kill the swell. Uh, this has been Earl addressing uh, the, the drinking community, the tube tribe. Boom.